name is Kim Baluk and welcome back to my channel Kim Baluk Self Defense. Today I just want to do a little discussion here. You know, eventually I will not have you guys in my kitchen. But right now it's probably it's the easiest place for me to do this. So you guys are just gonna have to deal with it for now. <laughs> but anyway, I want to start a little discussion here because I want to talk about uh, a subject that most people don't even think about. Now, do you call guns guns or firearms? Because most of the time, I'll call it a firearm. And there's a specific reason why, which I'll delve to into in a second. But, gun is more of a offensive terminology for firearms. Because, you know, when you see your gun, unless you're a gun-toting guy or a girl or, you know, a gun-loving nut or whatever, it actually kind of sounds offensive. You have to be able to take yourself out of your shoes, put yourself into somebody else's perspective in order to understand that terminology difference with just this one simple word from gun to firearm. Now, guns or firearms that I normally call, um, and I was just thinking about this in the car the other day. I don't know why it even popped in my head. But here's the big difference. When you're talking to people and you say guns, some people might actually take kind of a little offense or get a little edgy when you say gun. Especially when you're in a public area, you might say gun or, you know, like, hey, I went and bought a gun today, or, you know. People are going to look at you a little crazy. <clears throat> and, you know, with all the mass shooting nowadays, I mean, can't really blame people. But it's up to us as the Second Amendment upholders, as gun owners, to get... Let's see, how's the easiest way to say this? We are the faces of the Second Amendment. How people see us react, use guns, and talk about firearms, you know, it's... Uh, that is what matters. That's how people see it. The media just wants to badmouth guns. And it's not good. Now, if you notice, I've been using the word gun a lot. There's a very specific reason. Now, I'm going to start saying firearm... Now it's going to sound a little softer. It's going to sound a little more easy on the ears for people. Because firearms, when you say in that word, it help you get people's attention. They're not so on edge. They're not so edgy. They're more willing to talk about it. Uh, the media, they just smear firearms really bad. And it's people forget that firearms are tools. They're... It's up to the individual on how that tool gets used. It's like people say, oh, they call suicides. Well, you know what? So do ropes. So do belts. So do bridges. So does a lot of things. If they can't find a gun, they're going to go find a car. They're going to find a bridge or whatever. It's, like I said, it's just a tool, man. And the media wants to smear it and make a bad name for it. But here's another instance of where it's really going to make a difference between the word gun and firearm. Say you get pulled over. You're carrying. The cop comes up to your window with a flashlight. Hey, can I see your license and registration, please? And insurance. Sure, officer. You know, it's, it's in my glove compartment. And you go hand them in, you know, you don't have to, by law, tell the f officer that you have a firearm on you. But I highly recommend that you do, but there's a, you got to be sensitive about it. What you want to do is you want to grab your license, your registration, your insurance, and your CCW or whatever permit, you know, is in your state. And you just hand it to the officer. And there's a specific reason why, and I'll go into it in a second. And then let him go over the information. When he sees your CCW... He's going to understand that you do have a firearm, that more likely you have a firearm on you just because uh, you have you handle the permit. It doesn't mean you have it on you, but I highly recommend you do because they're just going to run your plates and stuff and your information. They're going to see that you have that. So, I mean, there's, there's no point trying to hide it, really. Because, I mean, you're, you're registered. You have the card. So, don't let him say anything. Then he's going to ask you some questions. And he's probably going to ask you where the firearm's at. And most of the time for me, it's either on my hip or in my pocket. So I'm going to tell him, it's in my pocket. Now, here's where the scenario changes. Say the cop comes up to him, to the window, asks for license registration, and he's got a rookie with him. Okay? He's, and the rookie's always going to be on the passenger side of the car, watching. He's going to have his hand on his gun, and he's going to have a flashlight. And that's how they get trained, man. And now, 
if you go and hand them the information and you tell the officer, oh, and by the way, I have a gun. You know what? That rookie's going to hear that word gun, and he's going to probably pull his firearm on you and possibly shoot you because he's a rookie, he's inexperienced, and he heard the word gun. So that is where it makes a difference. Now, if you say, hey, oh, and by the way, I have a firearm on me, maybe maybe more than likely it won't go that direction and and he'll just get ready you know what I mean so that's where it's gonna make a difference if you say gun that rookie's gonna draw plop 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 you might even start firing you don't know and it's best not to put yourself in that situation so that is the difference between firearm and gun it's if there's a gray line there in the middle I try to use firearm as most possible Gun slips out every now and then because I'm a gun toting nut. What are you going to say? I like guns. But I try to use the word firearm as often as possible, especially in a public situation or uh, if I get pulled over or something. But most of the time, the cop's going to ask you where it's at. It's in your pocket or whatever. And then he's either going to ask you to step out of the car and hand it to him or stuff while he takes care of the information. You know, he wants to make sure he goes home at the end of the day. Don't ever, ever, ever... Uh, bad mouth cops for just trying to protect themselves. People do that, and I don't know why. It's like, oh, it's my right as an American citizen to have a gun, you know? It's my right, it's my right, I got a license, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, you do, but you know what? That officer has a right to go home at the end of the day without any extra worries other than he gets out on the street from actual criminals. So, he's just trying to make himself safe, so go home and wife and kids. So... I mean, granted, there's those few officers out there that are just dicks, but you know what? That's like one, one to three percent of the population of officers that there is. So I just don't get it. Always be nice to the cops, man. They're doing a crappy job that nobody else wants to do. They get paid well for it. Don't get me wrong; it's not exactly crappy, but it's not as glamorous either because they don't get the spotlight, man. So. But that's the difference between firearm and gun. I just want to go over that for a minute with you guys. Leave your thoughts and comments down in the uh, comment section below. I'd like to see your guys' points of view on this. But like I said, I was just driving around and it popped in my head. And I thought it would make a little nice video. So as always, um, hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Hit that like button. It helps me get my stuff out there. But as always, show me some love. Show me some hate. But show me something. Either way, I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out and happy shooting. Ciao.